I'm Chief Fire Officer Alex Waller. This is George, and this is the tale of a Robin who has always dreamed of being part of the Fire and Rescue Service. But what could he, a little bird, do to help his heroes and the people of his town? Here's the hero of our tale, young Robin in his nest. Neath the roof of the fire station, the place he loves best. The whole of his life he has dared to dream. He could help the fire crew be part of the team. But firefighters are boys and girls. Would they let a robin into their world? He's only a bird. What use could he be to help people in his town with their safety? He pondered on how he could help the crew more as he flew along healed way on his daily tour. And when he returned, he'd call for a snack, left out on the ledge of his old friend Jack. Jolted out of his daydream and thought of his treat, he spotted smoke drifting over the street. Smoke from the window of the house at the end. As he swooped down, he saw food burnt and blackened. Mr. Sharma was cooking but he had been distracted. His safety in the kitchen had been impacted. The gas was on high and the tea towel alight. He left it on the hob to dry overnight. Robin knew he had to talk to the man about cooking safely and watching the pan. He told him the consequences could have been dire and to visit the website of Cheshire Fire. Mr. Sharma assured him he'd do that for sure and Robin flew off for the rest of his tour. Ah, there is young Nell taking her phone from her pocket. She wants to charge it, but look at that socket. All of those plugs from laptop, computer, TV. It's time for advice on electrical safety. Nell promised to sort out the socket stack so Robin set off for his afternoon snack. But as he got close to his old friend's place, of treats and jack, there wasn't a trace. Robin's ears were filled with a high-pitched sound, a smoke alarm he can't hang around. Peering in through the semi-closed blinds, Robin was frightened and shocked to find. There was smoke and his old friend calling out help but what could Robin do from the shelf then in a flash of course he knew he could summon the help of the fire crew he flew at warp speed to the fire station tweeting for help to the crew's consternation they followed him to Jack's blue lights flashing sirens sounding emergency dashing Arriving at Jack's, they went through the door to find he had fallen onto the floor. Two took him outside, his health to check. Two went back inside with a hose reel jet. Luckily, Jack didn't suffer too much harm. It would have been worse without a smoke alarm. Some days later, Jack feeling much better, went to the station with a thank you letter. Especially for Robin, along with a gift from Jack and the crew who were back on shift. They bought him a birdhouse with a perch as well and they were going to hang it by the fire bell. You're one of us now, said the fire crew. Robin was happy his dream had come true.